Noticed is that um, in in Korea these days, the pop songs, the pop stars, the dance stars, and others are very popular among the younger generation. But the younger generation don't know that much about something like the shijo, and I think the shijo is a distinctive brand feature of pre-modern Korean culture. It could be adapted into the contemporary scene. And it could take a different song form. It could be danced differently. It could be represented with um, images of various kinds. And, and I'm waiting to see somebody try to do that in Korea. Uh, I think it'll be phenomenal to see it. Um, in the United States, um, I've done teachers' workshops for trying to introduce the shijo form to school teachers so that they can show their students how to write uh, shijo. But I've also done some work with a musician, Bertrand Lawrence, who does um, guitar and song. And we did a, a bossa nova version of a shijo, uh, which we presented at Iwa University uh, last June. And there are other ways of doing the shijo in contemporary modern dance form. We did that at Harvard at a shijo festival last fall. So I think there's a lot of possibilities, and, and I would think it's not a danger, but a challenge to get a traditional form like the shijo brought into the present day and made part of the Hallyu phenomenon. Well, we've, at, at Harvard, for two years, we've had a shijo festival, mm -hmm. and we've had singers and performers come from Korea and sing the old style of shijo song in Korean to an audience that was very responsive. What helps, though, is that I give a lecture about the shijo. I give, I last year had a book of my shijo written in English, was published in the United States. And I'm continuing to write shijo in English. Uh, my father, who's 95 years old and has had some difficult health problems, my wife and I were visiting him last week at the hospital where he's recovering from some surgery. And he, he said, I want to read you something. And he took out a piece of paper and he read two beautiful poems and they're shijo. He writes in the shijo form. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, I think it'll have, it'll have the impact. But then also Korean performers are very inventive and, and they could do something, uh, you know, for example, with, with the old style singing of chong sa like that. Mm -hmm. You could also do it chong sa ri byok ge su ya sui ka mul jara mara. And somebody could really sing that in a kind of bluesy style. I think that would be a great hit. And there's all kinds of possibilities that Korean performers could explore that I think would have a great impact on a Western audience. You could have the traditional form and, and a, a good performer there, but then you could bring out some contemporary b-boys and do something uh, <laughs> different with it. 